What's up guys, it's me Jeremy and welcome to my guide for Zyra's support. I've been playing her a lot recently and she's a lot of fun to play, and is actually a really strong support champion. In this guide I will assume that you already know what Zyra does. I'll be linking the League of Legends page for Zyra just in case you don't know. Alright, let's go over the pros and cons of Zyra's support. Starting with the pros. The first is that she does a lot of damage and has very high range. This makes her one of the best, if not the best, at poking. It gives her a good matchup against pretty much every melee support, since you can just poke them down. Next is that Zyra has a lot of CC. This makes her teamfights very strong, and makes her a strong pick overall. Another pro is that she can push the lane very fast, as she can kill the minions fairly well. This makes her very powerful in a tower pushing team comp. The last pro I came up with is that she is an unconventional support, and many players will not know how to play against her. This can make it easy to get kills, but this really just depends on who you're playing against. Now let's move on to the cons. The first con is that she is very squishy. This can make her very risky to play, and you can end up dying even if you make just a tiny mistake, so knowing your limits is very important. I recommend practicing in some normal games to get a feel for her tankiness. Another con is that she has no sustain. If you trade evenly against a sustained support, you can end up losing trades in the long run so just be careful in your trades when you play against a sustained poke support. However, you do greatly outrange most sustained poke supports, so you should do fine. The next con is that her plants can push the lane when you poke with them. You just need to be careful with your positioning of the plants when harassing, and this is why you usually want to activate your melee range plants instead of your ranged plants when harassing. The last con I came up with is that all of her skills are skill shots. This makes her kind of hard to play, and it can also make it easy to outplay her. You need to understand that if you miss your skills, your pressure is gone until they are up again. During the laning phase, you want to play very aggressive. Zyra has a lot of range and is a high damage support. Harass with auto attacks early since your range is very high. And after a few levels start to harass with an E, double tap W, and a Q combo for quite a bit of damage. However, since you lose so much pressure if you miss your skills, what you want to try to do is bait your opponents into trying to harass you, and then hit your skills as they run towards you. This will lead to some easy poke, and it will give you a huge advantage in the lane. Just be careful and ward well, as it can be easy to get caught out since you are so squishy. It is somewhat easy for Zyra to catch someone else out though, so don't be afraid to commit to a full fight if you hate your skills. During the teamfight phase, you of course want to use your ult on as many people as possible, and then you should just use your skills to help protect whoever is most fed on your team. There is really no reason to try and kill someone, since you are the support and will just get kited and killed because you don't have enough damage to kill anybody. One thing I love about Zyra is that she has pretty much no bad matchups, except for maybe Leona and Blitzcrank, and even those matchups are somewhat easy to outplay if you can dodge their skills. The best matchups for Zyra, although she does have a good matchup against pretty much everybody else, would be supports like Sona or Alistar. Sona because you can outrange her and you can safe poker, and Alistar because if he tries to do anything you can just hit your E, poke, and then back off. Zyra works best with AD champions that have strong damage early game, and that also have strong poke. Graves, Corky, Ezreal, Draven, Misfortune, Varus, Sivir, Kog'Maw, Caitlyn, and Ash are all great AD carries to play with Zyra. For Masteries, I take my standard 1, 15, 14 setup. This gives me good tankiness and a lot of movement speed, making it easy to harass. You can also take a 1, 15, 14 setup with Magic Resist if laning against a magic damage poke support like Lulu or Sona. For my Zyra runes, I take movement speed or gold per 10 quints, depending on if I want to be aggressive or not and I usually want to be aggressive, so I end up taking my move quints quite a lot. And for blues, I take flat magic resist, for yellows, flat armor, and for reds, I take flat AD for Zyra. This makes her relatively tanky, and with the AD runes, your auto attack harass is absolutely phenomenal. Remember that Zyra's range is 575, so harassing with auto attacks early can be very powerful. For summoner spells, I take flash and exhaust to help get kills and to kite, and to escape from tough situations. For the skill order, you want to max your E first. Put your first point to your W at level 2, and the first point to your Q at level 4. After that, max your W second. Maxing Q second really doesn't give you that much more damage, since the second point you would put into it would be at level 8, and by then the lane phase and the need for that damage has probably passed. Plus you need to be able to charge your plants faster during the mid game. Not to mention the CDR helps quite a bit as well. And of course, put points into your ultimate whenever available. Lastly, for item builds. I start out with a fairy charm, wards, and potions. Next I build boots and heart of gold. 
You need the speed and tankiness to not get caught out because you're so squishy, and Zyra's mana costs are so low that you really don't need any mana regen after the Fairy Charm. After the Heart of Gold I upgrade to my Philosopher's Stone and then upgrade my boots into what is usually Mercury Treads. Next I'll either build Shirelias or Aegis depending on if my jungler has built Aegis or not, and after that you should either build Shirelias if you built Aegis earlier, or Zeke's or a second Aegis if you build Shirelias earlier. You should build a Zeke's as a 4th or 5th item depending on if you built Aegis or not. If you didn't build Aegis, your 5th item should probably be a situational tanky item. For example, Abyssal Scepter if their AP carry is doing well, Frozen Heart if your team needs it, etc. This 5th item will almost never be built though, so you really don't need to worry about it too much. Lastly, upgrade your Heart of Gold into an Iron Locket of Solari, and with a 6th item spot for wards, you should be good to go. You want to think about buying oracles after you have built your first major item, as an oracles is essential for map control and pressure. And as always, don't forget to buy wards. So thanks for watching my Zyra support guide, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback in the comments. I'll see you guys next time!